Santiago. Salam alaikum Mansur. Thank you for the time. When did you hear about the opponent change? And did you have to change a lot of things in your preparation for this fight with a new opponent? J'ai entendu le changement de mon adversaire un, un mois avant, je pense. Ouais. Un mois et demi. Euh, non, je pense que mon ancien, c'est un lutteur. Lui, c'est un jutsuka. Et ça change un petit peu, mais il n'y a pas grand-chose. So, he says hello. Um, alaikum salam. Like he said. And um, so, he heard it about it a um, month and a half before. Um, didn't change really in the um, in the preparation styles, even if they have two different fighting styles. But uh, yeah, still um, still a new opponent and uh, still something he didn't change anything in his preparation for, but he's looking for it. Is this your first time fighting in France or did you fight in France before in your 24 fight career? It's the first time in France. Euh, parmi les 24 combats, c'est la... Non, c'est pas la première fois, mais c'est la première fois que je combats au MMA. Avant, c'était le Pancras, les règles différentes. C'est so, um, it's not the first time, uh, even though it's the first time uh, in the MMA tournament, um, before it was in a different league. So, um, so yeah. Did you watch Brent Primus, his last fight? And what did you make of that performance against Chabli? Que tu as regardé Brun, ton adversaire d'avant. Tu as regardé la, sa performance. Est-ce que tu as regardé le combat de Chabli euh, Non. Et la préparation, est-ce que tu as regardé le combat de Brado euh, Oui, j'ai regardé les. les j'ai regardé un combat de, de Bran, voir à peu près son style. Euh, il avait perdu et, et, et voilà. So he did watch some uh, Bran matches and uh, especially one where, where he looked uh, really into to his fighting styles and um, so he tried to to adapt in the preparation, but you would see uh, whenever he faces him. After your last fight. A lot of people who didn't know a lot about you suddenly woke up and they saw how destructive you are on the ground. Did you notice this in your life that more people started to give you credits as the absolute dark horse to win the whole tournament? <laughs> Euh, j'ai pas fait attention à ça moi je, je fais mes combats et après je reviens avec mon équipe et j'essaie de, de m'éloigner un peu de tout ça pour pas me, me prendre l'esprit um, so he's a fighter and uh, he's fighting and then he goes back with his team and uh, he's not really trying to let the media into his mind and uh, whatever happens on the social media so he's really fighting and focused on the on the fighting so um, whatever happens and whatever people say um he makes everything for it not to impact his head that's a good idea and against Pekaladi, you were taken down mansoor but then you reverse the position and you ended up on top. It was a, a beautiful technique. Is is this like uh, one of your favorite favorite techniques to do? Le, le top du top, on va dire, non. Du combat, non, non, non. Est-ce que c'est pas 
Oui, c'est des choses que j'aime faire. C'est mon, c'est ma façon de faire pour arriver à, à, à faire ce que j'ai envie de faire. <rire> um, so it's something, it's something he does. It's part of his styles. It's part of his uh, fighting technique. And um, let's say whenever the situation is going to present, he's going to do it for sure. But uh, would see if he, he would see if the occasion presents as, uh, as he says, it's part of his uh, fighting style. This will be your second fight in Bellator, and it's another one in Europe. The company has been investing a lot here in Europe. Do you like the work that Bellator has been doing here? And was that a big reason for you to sign with the company? Euh, oui, c'était quelque chose qui m'avait poussé à m'engager avec eux. En plus de ça, il y avait le tournoi, et en plus de ça, la ceinture. Et il y avait le tout, le, le compte pour, pour s'engager avec eux. So, um, he, it's one of, the, one of the arguments that makes him sign with, uh, with Bellato, uh, among other things. Uh, obviously, there's uh, the tournament, and uh, there's also the belt and the titles. Um, It's a whole package, but that was one of the one of the main reasons he, he decided to move on for Bellator. You already have experience in a tournament as you won the Road FC tournament with some high class performances. Does this experience help you in this new tournament at Bellator? Do you think you have an advantage over Brent Primus in that? Euh, Est-ce que ton expérience vis-à-vis de la Je pense que tous les anciens combats que j'ai eus, ça m'a donné l'expérience pour, euh, pour être ce que je suis maintenant et, et à faire ce qu'il y a à faire pour les prochains années. So, um, so obviously, it, it helped him a lot. And, um, but as he said, uh, every fight is something new. Even uh, the more fight you have, the more experience you gain, and uh, the more you can adapt to any situation. So, obviously, it helped him a lot. Uh, we would see in the future whoever he faces. Mansour, in this tournament format, we already can see who is going to fight for the title next. And if you win, it will be you, of course. Does this bring extra motivation for you on fight night? And did you expect to be possibly fighting? For the world title in just your third fight in Bellator? Il y a pas mal de favoris pour l'autre. Si tu gagnes ce combat, tu Est-ce que ça te donne une motivation supplémentaire à gagner ce combat? Ou est-ce que c'est une entreprise qui te dit Ok, mon troisième combat, c'est le meilleur combat de tous les temps et tout? Est-ce que c'est quelque chose que tu essaies de mettre en place? Euh, oui, ça me motive un petit peu et, et moi, je fais étape par étape. Je pense qu'on va là jusqu'à notre combat, jusqu'à notre combat, jusqu'à affronter le plus fort et, et gagner tous les titres. So, it's the motivation is there, uh, especially for the for third combat. And um, but yeah, he's he's looking to win more and more and more. So obviously. Facing it, facing the, the title of the, um, the third matches in Bellator, it's something, uh, something really nice and uh, appreciated. Jay? Thanks very much. And Mansoor, uh, you know, just to build off one of the uh, previous questions, when we talk about your experience in tournaments, does being in a tournament change anything in how you prepare? Because, of course, you have to be concerned about getting injured and being out for long stretches of time, which would knock you out of the tournament. So does anything change in, in training camp when you prepare for these fights? Non, ça ne change pas grand-chose. On fait juste attention à mon adversaire euh, par rapport à son style de combat. C'est ça qui change. Sinon, euh, 
On fait attention aux blessures, bien sûr, aux blessures, bien sûr c'est un tournoi. Et euh, sinon, non, ça ne change pas grand-chose. So, regarding the preparation, um, it doesn't change much. Obviously, as you said, you have to adapt quickly to the different styles of fighting of the opponent. So, it's a tournament, so there are lots of opponents and uh, different fighting techniques. Um, so, you have to adapt to that, obviously. You always, obviously try not to get injured because that would be a problem. And um, well, regarding the preparation of every match, is, it stays the same and uh, keeps the focus. All right. And, you know, The switch in opponents here from Sydney Outlaw to Brent Primus. Obviously, this is a big fight. There's a title shot on the line. There is, you know, the, the tournament, of course. But does this have more meaning to you fighting a former champion? And, you know, could it do potentially more for your career to get a win over an ex champ like Brent? <laughs> En considération que ça risque de couper ta carrière, de changer pas mal de choses dans ton existence. Euh, ouais, je suis plutôt sur le ancien champion ou pas. On y va. Et euh, il a été champion, donc euh, on va prendre à la légère. Je le sous-estime pas. Et on va prendre toutes les forces, zéro risque et pour le battre. So, um... Being a, an ex-champion uh, obviously has its uh, has its part, but it's a it's a new combat, it's a new fight, and um, he's going to be careful. He's going to look after everything, but he's also a fighter, so he has the mindset of yeah. wanting to win every fight. Et le fait que ce soit un ancien champion, ça m'excite encore plus. But he's he's really excited by the fact that it's a next uh, a next world champion, so he really wants to to face him. Oh, good stuff. Looking forward to it. Best of luck in the fight. Just with the one chance. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Mills. Hey, how's it going? MMA Locker Room, part of Pub Sports Radio. Just wanted to ask you a few questions. So for the people out there that wanted to hear how you define your style in a few words, how would you define your actual fighting style? Because I compare it to like a dinosaur but like a velociraptor, because once you get, it seems like you get your opponent down on the ground, they're never coming up. Tu te demandes par rapport à ton style de combat, comment tu le définirais Et tu dis, si la comparaison est dinosaure, et si tu parles avec ton velociraptor, tu me dis non, c'est, voilà, tu plaques l'ennemi au sol, et une fois qu'il est au sol, tu le laisses plus relever, et ensuite il revient dans ton tableau. Alors, on parle aussi. Euh, je le vois juste comme un simple euh, homme. Et moi, je suis là pour le détruire. So, regarding the fighting style, um, he says he fights like a man, not really like a dinosaur, but even if the approach stays the same way, he really wants to, to destroy literally his opponent and uh, win over him. Sanmate? Hey, man, so yeah, you're on a roll at the moment. You know, eight fight win streak. It was a fantastic debut last October. Um, with the thought that you know that if you win this Friday, you'll be fighting Usman in the semis, are you quite annoyed that actually you don't get to see him in the final? Because I think that could definitely be a final matchup in the Grand Prix. Um, tu es quand même déçu que est-ce que tu es quand même déçu que le combat pour la ceinture se passe pas là euh, peu importe moi on me présente un adversaire devant moi je vais l'affronter après mon but c'est d'affronter les champions pour être le champion so thanks a lot for congratulating him and um... But yeah, like he said, um, he wants to fight. Uh, whenever he has an opponent, he's going to fight him. If it's a champion, it's even better. And uh, obviously, if he can win against every champion he faces, that's even better. And if he can win every title, that would be even better. 